Hi, this is Michael. I'm the Computer Guy, and today I'm going to show you how to configure the Start menu in Windows 10 so it's not scary. Okay, let's look at the new Start menu. It's down here in its usual place. Click on it. Whoa! What is this? on the right there all these tiles I we don't like tiles it's Windows 8 we don't want anything to do with that well actually it's not it is and it's not as you can see on the left hand side you have what looks like it might have be what you're used to in Windows XP or 7 or Vista it's different in that you have these little tiles you see that the most used items appear here. And if you look in File Explorer, well this looks familiar, right? I mean you've got your hard drive, this PC shows a desktop, documents, you know, all that sort of thing. All this is familiar. Okay. So, what's up with this? Do I need this? Do I want this? That's up to you. You can change these things. You can make it bigger. You can rename these areas. These are groups. And there are here two groups, but you can create more and put your favorites in by just clicking on a tile, dragging it, and now you have three groups. Now you have four. If you notice I click or just point in between and these things come up. And I can rename it to whatever you like. Okay. Okay. And you can change these at any time by clicking on this little minus sign, the horizontal line, and hit the X. Okay, so that's easy. All right. So you can do quite a bit there by pointing at this right edge and hold down the left mouse button. I can move it so it's narrower. And I can scroll up or down to see all my new groups. What else? Let's see if I made it wide again. Can I make it taller or shorter? Yeah, do the same thing. Put your mouse at the top of this big rectangular area. Hold down the left mouse button. And you can move it down a ways. Not all the way down, but you can move it down fairly, you know, so it's smaller, half size. So you can make it more compact by doing that. Okay, now I can see more of my desktop. Okay. What, what if you don't want any of this? What if you do not want these tiles? No how, no way. Or you don't like the shape of them. Let's do the shape first. If I right click on any of them, you see I have the option to resize them. Go small, large. Hmm. And I can move them too, right? Yes, you can. Left click, move. All right. Put that one back that size. I want this one to be medium so that this group of tiles all look good. Hmm, okay, that's pretty cool. All right, I don't need all these groups. Whoops. Go back here. It remembers how you had it last open. I'm going to move this back up here so that these are all together and I'm going to get rid of this one all together just by turning the live tile off or unpinning. I'll just unpin it for now. Oh, okay. So now I have two groups 
in an order and shape that I want. Hmm. Okay, but I don't want any of these. I just want this. Okay, right click, turn off the live tiles. I'm sorry, unpin, 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 again, again, again. We do this until they are all gone. Okay. Now I can move that over there, and I have my start menu that I'm used to. Well, sort of. It's different, but it's not. Now, what if I don't know where anything is and I want to find something? See this big white box here? Start typing. I'm looking for the calculator. Oh, okay, I just, there it is. I'm searching for a calculator. There's a calculator. Okay. What else can I find in here? Let's see. I want to search under all apps. See how they're different? They're all there. Everything that you're used to. Now they're set up alphabetically so you can find them easier. And you just need to click on one open it. So, pretty simple. Start menu as you are used to it for XP, 7, or Vista. Or create your own. Right click on something you want into the tile side. Say pin to start. Make it the size you want. Put it where you want in the different groups. Bob's your uncle. It really is that easy. So, if you have any questions, if you need any help, you know how to get a hold of me. Thanks for watching, and look for more tips on the new Windows 10 over the coming weeks.